I'm not in Delft. I'm in Amsterdam. Today is the first Scrum Day Europe. And Ken Schwaber is here. Well, he's one of the inventors of Scrum, so I definitely want to talk with him. Okay, Ken. Um, you are already a long time on my list to, to talk uh, talk with. I've met with Jeff Sutherland. I'm working on Scrum, so uh, thanks for talking with me today. My pleasure. Thank you, Rudy. Uh, we are at the Scrum Day Europe. What do you think about the event? I, I am really happy. We planned this and got it off the ground in four months. Um, our first in Amsterdam, and we have a, a lot of people, including executives, here. Um, this is a great event. Yeah, great program, CIO, CTOs, really yes. talking to a management, management audience. Yes. Uh, I, I've, I've understood that you've changed the Declaration of Independence, is that correct? That is uh, true, yes, we found it inadequate. Okay, what did you do? Well, this part of the Declaration of Independence says that um, all, all people are um, given inalienable rights by their creator of life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. And we amended to that and software in 30 days or less. Yeah, exactly. Because that used to be very difficult, but now if you're a business person, it is your inalienable right to have that. Yeah, and, and, and that you're also pointing to your new book that you wrote with Jeff. Yes. So it's working software in 30 days. Yes. How do, you, how, how do you explain that to managers? I mean, um, I come into companies where they deploy or release once a year, once every one and a half years. How is it able that, how do you think it's possible that you can release actually working software in 30 days? What do you say to them? The, the concept of the book is that this is being done worldwide. This is not something that's strange. This is not something that's impossible. And that if your organization isn't doing this, um, you aren't able to control your risk to 30 days or less. You aren't able to receive valuable software 30 days or less. So the question of whether it's possible or not is no longer on the table. It's if you're not doing it and your competition is, you are at a competitive disadvantage. So you have every right to go down and tell your developers, I want software in 30 days or less. Okay. And what's then the new role of the management? Because they probably need to do something else. Well, in, th in this case, they used to manage by telling people what to do and then checking to make sure they did it. And here, we're asking managers to give them direction, tell them what the desired end state is, and then let the people figure out how to do it, and the managers watch the end state and make decisions based on it. This is one of the basic concepts of lean thinking is bottom-up intelligence. If a manager tells 50 people what to do, they're constrained to his intelligence. If he employs their intelligence, he has 50 people's intelligence. Exactly. And then you talked about the lean principles. I think that also yes. removing waste will be one of the new roles of the managers because they have an impact on the impediments, really. Yeah, absolutely. That, that is their job, to remove all the impediments to productivity and value. And most organizations are full of them. So uh, managers no longer have to worry about what work they'll do. They have more work than they can possibly do. So you've talked in your keynote about Scrum. What, what's, what's the next step? I, I've, I've understood you're going to have a sabbatical, probably to think about it. What, what, what's, what, what's coming in, this, in the world of Scrum? The issue I don't think anymore is Scrum. I think the issue is organizations intelligently um, using Scrum to manage continuous improvement to increase their agility and to have the metrics to do it, to have the ability to do this in a um, staged, intelligent way. Now, I've, I did receive a question during the um, talk where someone said, what will stop managers from saying, I expect this much productivity and this much value by the state? Um, and that will expose the type of thinking that they need to change, which is you have to see what you can do and then do the best you can with the results, rather than think you can tell people to do something and it'll happen. So I can't, I can't wait for this to see how this happens. Um, we've started it going. I've been working with some of the other organizations in the Netherlands to make it happen. Um, and I certainly plan on thinking about it during the sabbatical. Okay, cool. Um, so so if, if I would ask the audience one month for you from, from now, what, what do you remember by Ken's keynote? So what would you hope them to, to say? What, what is your takeaway from your keynote? I think we have eroded the credibility of Waterfall and now our job is to do a good job building software of value for our companies. There's no longer an excuse. Working so far? In 30 days or less. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Ken. You're Thank welcome. You. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. After meeting Jeff a couple of times, it was a pleasure to finally meet Ken Schwaber. 
they are the two grandfathers of, of Scrum, so it's happy to work with them. And, and Ken expressed a word of hope, a word of hope that, let's say, all the, the, the history of, of late projects, late software, bad quality are, are gone. Well, how does it work? Well, it's, it's very easy. Yeah? If you shorten cycles, you get the problems in your, in your process become really uh, emerging. They become, become visible. So by shortening cycles, you have the opportunity to improve. I always say in my trainings, you know, Scrum is just like your mother-in-law. She enters your house and points out painfully all the stuff which is not all right, but then doesn't do anything to solve it. When well, that's where management comes in. And that's when we talk about Scrum and talk about Agile, that's the role of the managers. On the one hand, they're managing people, but on the other hand, they can help removing impediments. The role of the management is making sure that teams can go fast. They want to go fast, but they should have the opportunity. And that's where your role of management is. So, as Ken said, you know, 30 days is feasible. And that's what we will achieve with Scrum. And that's what the future will bring for us. Working software in 30 days. Or less. This video blog is sponsored by ProAwareness. And uh, Frans, have you taped it? Yeah, Rini, it's a wrap. And what do you think about it? <laughs> what is this, man? You talked about your mother-in-law inside the column. Yeah, and? I need this uh, material for the bad joke on the end. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're becoming a cross-functional team, Frans. Be flexible. I'm yeah, taking uh, over this a little bit. Okay, okay. Hmm, I can see the benefit. I'm starting writing uh, blogs. And you can make those stupid jokes on the end.